My name is Eric Kessels. I'm a creative director of Kessels Kramer in Amsterdam. One exhibition, maybe, which is, I think, uh, the best exhibition of the last uh, 10 years uh, or the last decade almost, uh, is that exhibition uh, where a lot of people might have heard from it. Uh, it's from uh, Christian Markley and it's called uh, The Clock. Uh, so what he did, he uh, uh, made a film uh, which lasts 24 hours and uh, he took all the, uh, 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 the, the frames from the history of films uh, he researched it and in every frame you find uh, a certain clock in that frame and he edits it uh, together in 24 hours and then whenever you step into that movie you know exactly how late it is because then you see an Italian movie with a, with a clock on a, on a, in a certain city square or Mel and Ron Monroe looking at a clock or I mean uh, yeah that, that's a brilliant work and it's exhibited uh, all over the world now in certain museums which have to be also 24 hours open and uh, yeah it's a fantastic film when whenever uh, anybody has a chance to see it I would really recommend it and I think a book uh, recently that I really liked uh, is made by a friend of mine called uh, Thomas Mylander he's from Paris and he uh, made a book called Illustrated People and what he did he uh, found uh, negatives in a certain archive and uh, these were quite big uh, negatives, and he uh, posted them with uh, uh, Vaseline on uh, people's bodies, uh, like on the naked uh, body. And then he would put uh, like a, a, a very uh, heavy lamp on the on the skin, and then the skin would burn. And then uh, he would pull off uh, the uh, the negative, and you would have uh, really positives of kind of a kind of a tattoo but like a photo tattoo on the, on the body parts and uh, in that book you see a lot of different uh, yeah examples of that and uh, yeah maybe film is then i really like uh, personally yeah quite realistic films uh, so films where you just uh, fall into and then you don't have the you never have the feeling that they are acted or that they are directed or you don't have the feeling of a set dresser so I think examples of that is a film called uh, Heli or Haley. Uh, it's H E L I, and um, it's about uh, uh, Mexican drug trafficking. Very realistic. Another uh, very good film is an English film called The Selfish Giant, and that was uh, maybe half a year uh, ago released. Or an American film called um, uh, Dallas Buyers Club which is maybe uh, some month uh, old already or maybe a year old, but it, it's a very good film, I think. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I like those kind of films, and, and uh, I sometimes see them a few times, and, and they, they uh, yeah, it's quite, uh, quite an inspiration then.